There are some creatures that have blue blood. Rich people. <laughs> For example, horseshoe crabs, whose baby blue blood is actually worth about $60,000 per gallon. Damn! This is due to a chemical found in the amoebocytes. A M O E B O C Y. Amoebocytes. 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 Nailed it. <laughs> this is due to a chemical found in the amoebocytes of its blood. When this is exposed to a potentially dangerous foreign bacterium, it will immediately coagulate around the threat, rendering it harmless without actually destroying it. This effect is near instant, and the blood can be used to detect a potential threat, even if it's diluted as much as one part per trillion. This effect is amazingly useful for detecting bacterial contamination in things like medicines and vaccines, or on medical equipment like needles, pacemakers, and numerous other items that are required to be sterile. In fact, no drug on the market today can be certified by the FDA unless it has been tested using this exact method, known as the Limulus amoebocyte lysate test. This was in homage to the species of crab, Limulus polyphemus. It's by far the best way scientists are aware of for detecting whether a batch of medicine or vaccine has been compromised or not. As such, the blood of these crabs is worth a small fortune, selling for around $60,000 per gallon. If you're wondering how this blood is harvested, the crabs I wasn't, but okay. <laughs> I assumed you just killed the crabs. If you're wondering how this blood is harvested, the crabs, over half a million per year, are carefully picked up when they visit the shore for breeding purposes and taken in cooled trucks to certified labs where around 30% of their blood is drained, after which they return to the sea. Oh, that's nice. The blood cells are then separated using centrifugation. Next, the isolated cells are placed in distilled water where they will eventually burst, releasing the valuable chemical inside. After being purified, it is then freeze-dried and stored to be used for testing. Approximately 85 to 97 percent of the crabs harvested for this purpose survive and go on their merry way afterwards, with the crab's blood levels returning to normal in under a week. Even with the relatively good survival rates, all of this may sound a little harsh. I don't know. We kill and eat animals every day. I'm not super worried. I've eaten loads of crabs. But there is one type of animal besides humans that, at the least, is glad this property of horseshoe crab blood was discovered in 1956 by Dr. Frederick Bang, namely the rabbit. Before the horseshoe crab blood method, LAL, of detecting microbial contaminants, a much less accurate and time-consuming system involving testing on live rabbits was used. In this rabbit pyrogen test, the rabbits were injected with a sample of the substance to be tested, so it was a bad time for them. 